hometown flavor, guys. He's got the home crowd behind him as Quintez Sapp. Absolutely. These guys are both young in their career. And this is a huge step up from the shows they were on before. I'm excited to see how they handle the pressure. Josh Baker, very confident fighter, was talking about one of his last fights. It was delayed so long, he was fighting at midnight. Josh yeah. Baker has a lot of people in the crowd here for him. I see a lot of people wearing these purple shirts with a gingerbread man on the front. I think this is going to be very exciting. Uh, Quintez Sapp comes in and shoots right away. As Baker was coming in and kind of stalking him, Sapp gets the takedown. Yeah, yeah, that was a beautiful level change. But Josh is doing a good job pushing himself up on the cage. He needs to free his legs, turn his hips, and defend that. Yeah, right now, Quintez is doing a great job tying up those legs. But you see Baker roll over to his knees to try to get up and struggling to do so. Yeah, he needs to start getting his outside leg up, putting his, on the mat, his foot on the mat and his knee up so that he can start to stand and really disengage from this clinch. Sap with a couple of left hands as they're coming up, and there he is, Baker's to his feet. Baker's getting lifted. He just got slammed back down. He's got to pop right back up. He can't let Quintez settle on top. Yeah, he's sitting there and starting to get riding time, starting to get time and control in the cage. You guys can all see that Quintez has that wrist right underneath, which means he's controlling the base hand of Baker. Yeah, We're just about a minute four into this opening round, two takedowns for Quintez. That really never lost control, and it's something he's trying to do right now and, and wear down Josh Baker. There you go, Todd. He turned him off the cage. That's exactly what he needs to do. He needs to keep his head under his chin, look to posture up and land some big strikes. There's the elbows calling for it. Listen to his corner. Baker has that outside hook with his right foot, and he needs to start using that to elevate the outside leg of Quintez to give him space to stand up again. Yeah, and, and Baker's trying to do all he can to stand at that cage. Sapp needs to look to take the back as he's coming up right here. He's pulling him back down. He's sitting him back down on his butt. But he, if he popped his head out to the right, he could look to take the back, throw the hooks in, and get look for the finish. Absolutely. Oh, he's got the Kimura. Yep, he's got the Kimura. I saw that on the back side. He doesn't have the angle, though. No, that's a tough angle. Ian, you know firsthand, you've got to have the right angle for the Kimura. Yeah, I mean, this happened to me when I fought Kelvin Gaston. I gassed my arms out. I just didn't quite get that right angle. And you can see he has to get his left hip down, what he's trying to do. But with uh, Sapp's head right there, oh, he's getting got it. it. That's got a better position right now. No, but he stepped over to mount. Yep. Now he's in a really bad position. Yeah, Sapp's in full mount now, banging away. There's still two minutes and 40 seconds left in this opening round. Sapp looking for those elbows so far. There Baker you go, blocking. there you go. He landed one big one. Yeah, he Sapp's right now doing everything he wants to do and now giving up his back. Oh, he's in a terrible position. He's got to suck in. He's tapped. Well. Sometimes the O must go, guys, and Jessica from the opening bell, Quintez Sapp had control. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Jason Collins calls a stop to this contest. At two minutes, 40 seconds of the very first round, declaring your winner by submission, by a rear naked choke, the wicked one, Quintez!